Hello everyone, this video tutorial is about how to use VDown Player HD on your iPad or iPhone and I'm using an iPad for example in this tutorial. At first, let's have a look at how to transfer and play local videos with this player. You can transfer local results via iTunes. Open iTunes on your PC. Connect your iPad. Click this iPad button. Then click Apps. Okay, now in this app list, select VDown Player HD. Then click Add to select and add a local video. Okay, now the video is in. Let's check what's going on on your iPad. In the local results of the player, you can see the video has been successfully added. You can also use Wi-Fi transfer for adding local resources. Click this Wi-Fi button on your player. Alright, you see the highlighted FTP drive. Just input it into your Windows Explorer. Okay, now find the local video you want to add, drag and drop it, it's very easy. Alright, the video is in. Now let's Check your iPad. Go back to the local results of the player. The video is sitting there. Next, let's take a look at how to play a video on VDown server with this player. Before everything, you need to install the VDown server on your PC. The installation is as easy as every other app. Just follow the wizard step by step. Okay. After the installation, you can see this pop-up. Click Add to add local results into the server. Choose a category. Let's say Movie, for example, here. Click Next to find and select the Movie folder. OK, click Next. Then save. All right, edit successfully. Now let's go back to your iPad. Click VDown Server option. Click on this PC icon. Now the player uh, is searching for the server. Okay, found and connected. Back to the previous interface, you can see all the movies you just added to your server. You can click a movie to view, choose play to play the longest movie title, or choose titles 
to select any title to play. Alright, let's go on to the next operation. How to play videos on Windows Share, UPnP, or FTP. I will take Windows Share for example, since I don't have any handy UPnP or FTP. At first, share the movie folder you want to access. Right click to properties to sharing. Okay, down. Now go back to your iPad. Click this home sharing option. The player is automatically searching for UPnP device. But we are going to click this plus icon to select Windows Share. We need to complete the server info. Input username and password to go through the authentication. Click the check mark. OK, now access the server. You can see our movies on it. Let's click a movie to watch. You can click settings button to set audio tracks and subtitles. And it supports hardware decoding. Okay, now let's go to the next operation, download videos from server to your iPad. It's very easy, just click the download button. Choose the download option and you can see the download progress. Okay, now go back to the local resource to check. Here it is. At last, let's have a look at the settings function of the player. Choose settings option. Then you can clear cache. Set the display of subtitles. Feedback via email. Or online message. And check some information about this player. Alright, 
That's all there is to it. Thanks for your time and best wishes.